Hey there. So I'm Heather Dixon and this is episode one of 24 of Dixon Drawing Class where I'm gonna teach you how to get crazy good at drawing. <laughs> So this, since this is episode one, this is just the intro class. If you have just come looking to draw BB-8, go ahead and skip to that part in the video. Uh, the time code is listed below in the video description if you just want to go ahead and skip ahead. But if you're here for the whole series, if you're going whole hog, if you want to hear the intro and the lectures and the question and answer and everything, you're very brief. And I'm glad that you're sticking around. So just sit there and keep on listening. Uh, so since this is the intro class, I'm going to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Heather Dixon, and uh, I work as a story artist. And I've worked for Disney. And the funny thing about this is, um, well, it's not really sad, or it's not really funny. It's just kind of sad. Uh, but growing up, I, I was a really bad artist. Uh, in fact, let me show you some of my best work from when I was younger. Uh, so this is a comic that I drew when I was younger, and I won't say yet how old I was, but uh, if you can take a look at this, it was a comic about kids in a grocery store. It, it's, it's pretty terrible. There's not a lot of like line quality to it, like the characters don't have any necks, and everybody just has like sausage arms. It's just a, wasn't done in Photoshop. Just a real mess, really, really awful. And like, if I were like maybe 14 or 15 and I did this, it would be awesome. But like, I was old, I was like, I was like 20 or something. And this was my best work, right? And so that's kind of sad. Uh, fast forward a few years and now I am doing things like this. I don't know if you can see this very well. Uh, from Anastasia. I am drawing things like this. Whoop. All right, I'm hugely obsessed with Mary Poppins. And so this is a Haunted Mansion Mary Poppins mashup. Whoop. All right, and here's the second in the series that I just finished. This is probably my most recent. Uh, there's Mary, and then everybody's having a tea party below. It's a lot of fun. Uh, here's one that I did a couple of years ago. Uh, this is Cinderella. Ooh, let's see if that'll focus. Focus! There we go. This is Cinderella and the Prince, and the Grand Duke and the King, uh, right after she's tried on, tried on the slipper there. All right, and he's coming out to greet her, and he doesn't care that he's, she's wearing rags or anything. He just loves her just because of her. By the end of this series, this 24 episode series, I want you to uh, get from drawing, you know, just, you know, what you draw to, to being able to do something like this, okay? This is our goal. So just a quick, quick overview of the structure of every episode that I'm going to have. Uh, we're going to start out with a mini lecture. It's not going to be too long. Then we're going to do uh, the drawing where I teach you how to draw a character, how to break things down into simple shapes, that kind of thing. Uh, and then a question and answer, where I answer a question that somebody's asked me, uh, art related or whatever. And uh, then I give you some homework. Yes, you're going to get homework in this class because if you want to get better, you have to practice and you have to work at it. It's, uh, it's just part of, part of the gig. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to show you what I have here. This is a drawing sheet that I've created for our class. Uh, as you can see, we're starting out drawing BB-8, and I've broken it up into simple shapes. You can get this sheet on my website, which I've included in the video description below. There's a link to it. Or you can just follow along here. I have it pulled up on my screen, and uh, we can draw together. Let's get started. So here we have BB-8. Uh, pretty simple, uh, not so simple if you're going to draw the details and stuff, uh, but we're going to start out with that. As you can see here in the corner of our sheet, we have 
and little BB-8, the same BB-8, and that's just to kind of give you a guide of how big your circle should be on your sheet of paper. By the way, all you need for this class is a sheet of paper and a pencil. You don't need anything fancy, maybe something hard to draw on, like a book or something, but, you know, it's low-tech. You don't need a drawing tablet like what I have here. Uh, just a pen and or a pencil and a paper, okay? Okay, so usually what you want to do when you are drawing is start out big to small. So we have several big circles here, and uh, the biggest circle, of course, is his body. All right, and if we compare it to here, it's about this big. And look, I need to draw it lower, okay? When you're drawing, you just want to be as light as possible. Try not to erase because that will damage your paper and it'll just look gross. And like this looks gross, but like all these lines everywhere. But you know what? If you like keep erasing and stuff, it's gonna, it's gonna ruin your paper and uh, you know, the line is still kind of there. So I would just say just draw really, really light, okay? And you can pause this video anytime and do it. And you probably don't, don't try to draw your circles kind of hairy like this. Like this is hairy, but like try and get swooping lines until you're happy with the circle. And sometimes you can tell how round your circle is if you take the paper that you're working on and you hold it up to the light you turn it over and you hold it up to the light and you can see like how crooked it is. It catches things that you couldn't see with it, you know, the right way you were drawing, all right? Uh, drawing circles is a huge deal, being able to draw circles, and that's something that we are going to work on in this class. It sounds kind of stupid and kind of simple, but I try practicing drawing circles every day. It's really, really useful. Okay. So make sure that you've got a good circle when you're happy with it. We can move on to the second circle. Uh, what I like to do before I start drawing circles or anything is to kind of make measure and make little markers. And so I would say the bottom of the circle, if we look at where this intersects, it looks like the bottom of the circle intersects, I'd say right about here, okay, and um, looks like it kind of curves up to be about right about here. And go ahead and draw that on your paper. Draw those markers on your paper. And right about here. Now if we look at bb 8 circle head, it is, if we measure it, which you can do with your paper, if you measure it, it is about half as big as this circle here. So what you can do is you can go and you can measure half the circle. You can bring it up like this, okay? You can say it's about this big, blink, blink, okay? Does that look about right? Hmm. Don't be afraid to like take some time and just like measure and reevaluate. The most important thing at this point is to get your proportions right. Let's see. I think I've got the angle of the head. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do this circle. Okay. Remember to draw really light. Oop. He's kind of an egghead right now. Poor BB-8. Okay, now take a look at your drawing. Go from here to here, from here to here. Keep looking. Does this look like it's maybe about the same as this, proportionally wise? I think mine just might be a little bit big. I'm feeling a little bit better about that. Okay, so we have these two circles. He looks a little bit like an unmade snowman. Let's uh, let's 
let's cut up his face and what I have is I have this diagonal line that's kind of going straight through and we kind of marked this off at the bottom of the circle we have it at the top of the circle go ahead and just lightly lightly draw that in okay and that's another thing that you'll want to practice we'll talk a little bit more about that in next lecture is drawing straight lines and drawing perfect squares and perfect circles and that kind of thing and you know, even if you're a really good artist, this is still stuff that you're gonna need to know. Like I said, even though I've worked for Disney and stuff like that, I still work on this kind of thing every day. Okay. All right, now let's take a look at the bottom of his head. This is where uh, his head actually begins. It looks like we have a little bit of a sloping line and go ahead, let's draw those markers. Okay, so we know where it intersects here. We have it about right here, I'm gonna say. And it looks like it just goes up like here, up like this, okay. Okay, we draw this curved line, right? Okay, so here we have the top of bb eight head, yay! How do you feel about that? Do you feel like you've made it too curved? You don't want it like this. You don't want it totally straight. It's just a little bit curved, okay? All right, since we are working big to small, we probably want to do uh, these neck circles right here, okay? And since we're in the groove of drawn circles, uh, let's, let's do this one, okay? And it looks like it's pretty close here. It goes into this circle, this second circle that we drew about this much okay let's see and about this much okay go ahead and practice it's like a sideways oval a little bit it's like a tilted oval okay it's not a complete circle if you draw a complete circle it'll look funny because bb8 this this thing's on a curve right and so you're going to be seeing it at a perspective so even if you saw it straight on it would be a circle it's not a circle right now, it's on a, it's on a perspective line. Um, I think I'm not drawing this circle enough though. Okay, I'm gonna erase. So erase if you have to, but remember to draw super, super light so it's easy to erase. Okay. Okay, while we're in the groove of drawing the same kind of shape of the circle, let's do this one in the middle. It's almost the same shape. Now, if you look, it's actually, there's more space here than there is on this other side. So go ahead and mark that. And that's because, once again, it's out of perspective. If we were drawing it straight on, it would be right in the middle, right? But since it's out of perspective, we're gonna do it at an angle, okay. Okay, so let's see, no, I think I haven't made this oval crooked enough. No, that's a little bit better, okay. Okay, uh, once you feel like that you've got that down, why don't we move on to this other circle and it looks like, boink, it just touches right here. We actually have an oval is what it is and Let's see if you can look at it. Let's see if this is the bottom of the circle and this is the side. It's a little bit closer to the bottom of the circle side. It's probably about right here. Okay. No, I think it's a little bit higher. All right. It goes below this one, but just barely, not too much. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and let's draw this oval. Okay, once again, it's a tilted oval. All right, and pay close attention to 
how much is inside the circle and how much is outside the circle. And pay close attention to how close it is to here. Okay. All right, remember this top of the circle just brushes right up there. While we are in the groove of drawing this oval, let's draw the middle oval. And once again, it's going to be further away on this side than it is on this side. So we let's go ahead and mark that. Mark the four corners of it here. Okay. Let's see. Draw this. Okay, how are you feeling about your BBA so far? You feeling good? Okay. Don't be afraid to pause the video if you need to. Do what you gotta do. All right, and let's, let's do this uh, bottom circle, and it looks like it's about this far. And about, I'm gonna say this far. All right, here. Now, you notice that I'm measuring a lot of stuff, okay? That's because we do a whole lot of measuring in art. You have to get really good at visually uh, measuring and visually being able to see something and put it down on paper. And it's going to take hours of work and years and years and not to discourage you or anything. I'm totally discouraging you. Okay, I think this is pretty close. While we're still in the groove, remember, let's add this other circle. Um, okay. Okay. All right, now at this point, if you're feeling good about it, go ahead and erase these really light lines that you've drawn. Okay, kind of get the basic shape down. Okay, as you're racing, if you like the light lines that you've drawn, if you want to keep them around, go ahead and make them darker. Go ahead and darken them in, okay? sure I made this circle big enough. I'll just kind of fix that a little bit. Okay. okay. No, I was wrong. No, I was wrong. I think I was right before. Let's fix that. Sorry to lead you astray. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's move on to his eyeball. If you look at it, it's not exactly centered on the line. It's just a little bit to the left. Uh, it looks like it's almost an eye width from the top, a little bit less. All right. So. Let's go ahead and make a marker here and a marker here. Okay, it's not, it's it's a little bit higher on the head than just halfway. So don't do it like right in the middle. I think that would look kind of creepy. Okay. All right, we have his little sensor. You can add down here if you want. Okay. We have his little trimming here. Okay. All right, so now that we have pretty much all the basic shapes down, uh, feel free to go ahead and draw in the details, okay? All right. Let's see. Let's get that done. So we have this headband thing here. Not quite touches his eye. Wink. Alright, 
and the one below it kind of looks like this. You have this little sensor pokey out thingy. Um, this line is curved as well. It kind of crosses under here. Uh, I would draw a highlight here and maybe a smaller one and then you can color this part in black. Okay. Um, let's get the detail on his body. So we have this. Alright, looks like if you want to, you can draw kind of a curved X to give you a guideline of where this little, these little decorations should be. Okay, we have these three lines. this little thing going on here. Okay. All right. Look, there's another circle down here. Good thing you are getting so good at drawing circles, right? Okay, this kind of curves in like this and like this. Okay. He has a little circle thing here. I didn't notice that. Oh, let's not forget his antennae. This antenna uh, pretty much goes through that first line that we drew. This one's just a little bit to the side. Boop. Okay. Uh, why don't we add a shadow? Looks like we, he has a little bit of a shadow right here. All right, that'll make him feel more grounded. And you could probably draw a little bit of a shadow right here, too. Okay, a little bit of a shadow right here. Okay, so pretty much got it. Are you happy with your drawing? hope so. If you want, you can tape your drawing to a window so that you can see some light coming through it and trace over it. That's what a lot of artists do. I'm kind of showing you how I do it. How I do it on my computer. As you can see, I'm lightening it. I've pulled up another layer of Photoshop and now I'm going very carefully over this rough line drawing that I've drawn. Nope, not carefully enough, obviously. And there you have it. How are you feeling about your BB-8? You happy with it? Uh, don't be afraid to go ahead and just draw it again. Go ahead and download the sheet and print it out from my website and practice it throughout the day or throughout the week. Um, awesome, you did it. Uh, if you want to stick around for the Q&A, stick around. Uh, this question and answer is one that I got from Tumblr and they asked, I have a paper right here that I'm reading, and uh, it was an anonymous question on Tumblr. I'm on Tumblr, by the way, not very active. It basically cross posts, uh, posts from my blog. You can follow me there. You can also follow me on Instagram. Uh, that's probably a better way to see what I'm doing or on my blog, which is kind of my home base. So this anonymous person on Tumblr asks, uh, what got you into art and where did you graduate from? I chose that question because since this is kind of an intro thing, this kind of just talks about, you know, the stuff that I've done. Uh, so what got me into art was I've always really enjoyed drawing. Haven't been very good at it, but I've always really enjoyed it. And uh, I was always reading comics not like superhero comics, but like in the newspaper comics, like, like funny comics. So like the far side and Calvin and Hobbes and stuff. And that's what I wanted to do when I grew up until 
I was 14 years old and I discovered what storyboarding was and oh, I got like so excited about it and I knew that that was what I had to do was become a storyboard artist and so that's what I worked towards and I'm still working towards is working towards becoming better at that and a better artist. So uh, that's what got me into art. Where I graduated from is I graduated from BYU, Brigham Young University, and they have a really good animation program there and miraculously somehow I got in and uh, was able to get a lot of the things, a lot of the keys that I need to know and, and learn how to learn and it was a really, really good experience. So, uh, do you have any questions? Go ahead and leave them below in the comments section or you can email me if you want. Um, if you have any characters that you want to learn how to draw, go ahead and uh, you can post suggestions in the comments below for that too. I do read all the comments. I am not very good at responding to them, so hopefully you can forgive me, but I do read all of them and I appreciate all of them and thank you so much. Your homework! for this week is uh, written on the sheet here. You are to draw for 30 minutes to an hour a day. You can draw anything you want. You can draw uh, anime if you like drawing anime. You can practice drawing your family. Just anything to get you uh, used to drawing for longer periods of time. Okay, if you're already drawing that much, see if you can push it even further and do maybe two hours a day. Uh, we will talk about more about how to practice drawing in the later episodes, but for this week, see if you can get uh, 30 minutes to an hour every day, and then you can tell me how it goes in the comment section. Awesome, thank you so much for joining us, and I'm very excited to teach such a group of talented, super awesome students, and I will see you next week.